give you a quick tour of where I've gotten so far. We have the side rails up. We have the front rails up. This is where the door goes. The other side up. And the back side here that I'm currently got some pieces and pieces I'm working on. See the pieces I'm working on? This piece in my hand that I just dropped on the ground attaches to that piece that mounts to this and it is what holds the uh, nest boxes. So that's the nest box frame. And then I think we're going to be about ready. Sorry. To jump to uh, Yeah, that's the nest boxes. Oh, that's the mineral feeder spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so we're getting ready to be ready to put up wire mesh and then make the wheels. It's getting close, it's getting close. Hi. So since we last spoke, I have all of these bits and pieces that I was holding a minute ago. The uh, nesting box frame pieces put them in the hinge works um if i do this ever again i will assemble this piece and this piece on the ground because it was a real pain in the neck getting this screw in with the washer and the washer into this one and to have to try and get that in here through all of this was kind of a pain in the neck so the next time if i ever do this again I will do that. What does that do? Ground. This blocks the door so that they don't get in. The door. This blocks the nesting boxes. Okay. So the chickens can't get in. Well, I thought the I thought the theory with the nesting boxes was you pull them out and turn them around so the opening isn't. You can do that too. Okay. Then that's a roost so they can get in the nesting box. Right, because if you left it down when you didn't want them in there, they'd sit up there and poop on everybody. Right. These other things. So in the evening, you flip it up out of the way. And in the morning, you drop it back so down. So you again. just reach through the back and do that? You can. I see, for favor. And so now you're putting the. Uh, so now we're doing the screen. Hardware cloth up here. The hardware cloth here and here. And it goes back to on the side wherever the axle is. Actually, if I remember right, they wrap the whole thing in it. Um, and then cover the back end with uh, tins. We're using tin. Well, then why, why would you waste the money and the time and the effort to put the wire on the back sides? I don't know. I think that you, you have the ability to make that decision. Right, so I'm gonna bring the hardware cloth to here. Since we're going from here to here with tins anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and what happens back here? Well, this is tin. Tin, tin, tin. Well, it might be Open. easier. This might be easier to put the hardware cloth pieces in here, and then just shoot you a nice straight piece of uh, tin there. Because they're trying to cut, cut, cut little pieces. Um, well, it's supposed to be their dry zone. Mmm. Oh. I see. Okie dokie. It's not my intention to change Justin Rhodes' designs. But, you know, just ooh, a thought. Ooh, FedEx. Ah, <laughs> FedEx. Well, they're not bringing our turkeys, I guarantee it. Progress. So we're now upside down. We have done um, all of the wiring we're gonna do on the outside. We determine 
that since we're gonna put tins on here anyway, we're not gonna waste the uh, extra harbor cloth on that. Um, what I'm doing now, I remember at one point they had to repair one of their chick shaws uh, because the axle came undone. So I'm adding an extra board in case in the future I have to add some extra. So let me grab my straps real quick. So this is the this is the first tire. I'm gonna put the nut in nut in the washer and the nut well the washer, the nut, the washer, the nut. Then the washer, the nut, the nut, the washer. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And then the straps he's talking about are here. They yeah. are. And it does. It's pretty. It's not going anywhere. Ew. I think they could do the same thing over here before our battery dies. And Tad is very upset because he knows there's a key in there. Someone like him to stand there and park us off. Hold on. Tad, quiet. You're fine. It's like he's at the other end of the house barking. So there's two straps. He is up and he's going from one bedroom to the other, getting up the windows. Go inside and smack him. Because he sees um, smoke. That way he can see smoking barking. That's what's coming. That dog's crazy, huh? So the funny thing is, there we go. That's the second set of straps. using the really long screws on. Now I'm going back with some shorter screws because we've already found that one pound of three inch screws is not enough. For this for the yes. construction project according to the list. So and we still have a sheep shot to do. That requires three inch screws. And I really don't want to buy more three inch screws but I will use what I have to have. There we go. I might need to tighten that one up with buzz. But yeah, that one seems a little more wobbly than this one. A little bit. So there we have two wheels. Next step should be the uh, feet, which go on that end. Okay, so we'll have to get that strong. Alrighty, so we are working on the leg. Now these feet are permanent. Yes, these feet are permanent. Um, I need the. 
but it'll tip over one way or another, right? Without something on the front or whatever, or is it? It has a kickstand that goes on the back. Okay, kick, kickstand, gotcha. That was what he had trouble with, I think. Yeah, and um, relatively square. So these boxes of screws come with a Torx bit. They're good for about a box of screws and then you throw them away. It's been rainy here in Tennessee. Take a weather break. It's been raining on and off all afternoon. Supposed to be the same, I guess, until Thursday and then start up again on Friday. And we still have a sheep shot to crank out and Carrie goes to work tomorrow. So I guess since it's gonna be rainy tomorrow, that's a good thing. But that means we gotta crank out the sheep shot on Thursday or no. Either we have to choose to crank out the sheep shot on Friday and over the weekend and do our, our bike day away. That is if we feel confident that our piggies are gonna be okay without us. For a Few hours not that we've been down there with him the whole day so adding the center board now creates a problem with that board or did you just cut that one um apparently i made this one too long oh because i've already tried shaving off the end of it i can't quite get enough so uh Move it on to the other piece, huh? Ow. So much easier when you clamp it down. Ta-da! Okay. I don't know how many cans of spray paint it would take to paint this thing. I don't either. So, leg number one. Sounds like the uh, guardian dog is doing a job up there about something. That guardian dog doesn't guardian anything. It works. It must be guardian something. More adjustments to be made. All right. So it's you see out the kickstand on down there. Now we're putting the cleats on the door and the hinge on the door. However, I don't have my tape measure. You'll have to pause for a moment. There we go.
There we go, two and seven eighths in. Doesn't give an up or down. All right, so my cleats all fit inside the door opening. That I was afraid of. So yeah, I flipped you over so we can get to the bottom of it. And um, oh, no, factory cut. We'll put the factory cut down on the bottom. There we go. I'm going to use longer screws. So we will find my pencil. Four, four, go to there and there. That should work just fine. Mm -hmm. That's in that square. That's where that's at. <clears throat> I know it's going to be a little off because it's crooked that direction. But either way, that'll be fine. I know where I need to hit my hinges long as I'm around here, we'll be good. So I managed to, I clamped a bar on the backside and stood it up and I managed to get the hinges in. We may have to come up with a better solution for the short screws into the plywood. But anyway, we'll go from there. So in the meantime, I'm going to try and see if I can get these humongous big barrel bolt things on here. Install the door, install the barrel bolts. Yeah, see, they just look so much smaller on paper. These things are absolutely massive. This thing is huge. I'm gonna bet that if I put one on one side, it will keep an army out. As you can see, the uh, chickshaw is not in the carport. That's because if I want to get anything done on it for the rest of the evening, since it's going to start pouring, we've moved it inside the shed, planting shed, storage shed, feed shed, brooder shed, whichever shed you want to call the shed, it is the shed. So, but also um, planning on riding the motorcycle to work tomorrow because it's not supposed to rain tomorrow. 
I would like the seat to get a chance to dry. Um, Sandy needs the truck in case the turkeys show up. So even if it rains, I'll be all riding in it. So we move it in here. We have the nest boxes in. Uh, this one I still need to cut down. Um, we had them laid over before um, in the other coop, so I didn't need them cut down, but I guess I need them cut down in here. And I don't like the way they just kind of balance there. I may have to do something, because I don't like it. It just doesn't feel secure to me, and anybody and their brother could push that right in from the backside. So anyway, that's where we're at on that. I need to put the build the lid. I need to figure out what to do with this because I um, stood it up and that hinge just broke. So um, I, I just don't understand the, the I don't know. I'm at a loss for the kickstand. Might have to do the kickstand a different way. Anyway, that's uh, my story. I'm sticking to it. I'm not sure I'm going to get anything else on tonight. Um, I would like to try and get the lid on this tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We're going to try.